It's raining again. Never mind. When it's inclement, one should do inclement things. So I purchased this book about uh, five or six years ago now, and um, I was looking for it this morning uh, and uh, I've been inspired. I'm going to build an antenna from it. Um, let's see if I can find it. <laughs> Verticals. It's an Edfung, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, vertical, made out of um, ladder line. And I thought I would have a go at it because it uh, sounds like a bit of fun. Um, where's it going to be here? Yes, here we are. So I thought I'd have a go at this particular antenna. It's a dual band JPO made out of um, 300 ohm um, ladder line. Now I'm not sure if my ladder line is 300 ohms or not. It, it may not be. But I'm going to make it to these specifications and then we'll uh, we'll have a go. OK, so let's quickly draw this so that uh, one, I can understand. And secondly, perhaps it might explain the reasons why we're putting certain play things in play. Uh, so here's our ribbon cable or a window line or ladder line. Um, and we've shorted the base. And we've made the JPO um, return leg or the bottom of the J on this side needs to be 17 and a half inches or in metric that's uh, 40, uh, 44.3 or, or 443 millimeters from there to there. Um, and that's where the first cut of a quarter inch or seven millimetres occurs. Um, we then need uh, to measure up this leg, uh, 29 and a quarter inches, or in metric again, that's 74 um, centimetres or 740 millimetres to this point where it's then cut uh, and then we need to add um, a length of coax. I'll see if I can draw this nice and neatly. There's our braid and there's the braid on this side and the center core. Uh, and we need to join the center core of our coax to the top of this leg and both the center cores and the external part of the coax to the rest of the antenna at this point. So this bit is cut out um, and the length of the, uh, the coax there is four uh, and a half or four and a quarter inches, four and a quarter inches or 105 millimeters or 10.5 centimeters. Okay, and then the remainder at the top there is 18 inches. I told you it wasn't to scale. Um, and that's 457 millimeters. And this side, we cut this gap in here and we then cut another gap in that side of the coa of the uh, ladder line. Um, right, the reason for the, the coax uh, is basically it's a matching stub uh, or decoupling stub for the UHF, the 70 centimeter band. Um, although I don't need to use that, uh, and I'm, all what happens then is that the 70 centimeter band uses the third harmonic of the VHF band. Um, and what we prefer really is for it to use a half wave. So we decouple the half wave here. So this this becomes then a UHF half wave. 
and then on the VHF bands, the whole antenna becomes the halfway from this point. Uh, is, 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 that, uh, is that clear? Probably not. Anyway, let's build it. Uh, one down, away. 51 inch yards, 51 and a half inches. So I need to cut 53. So here's our 53 inches, uh, which by the way is um, 134 centimetres. Um, I don't need all of it, I've cut it a little long because obviously I have to make um, some adjustments to it. Uh, we'll work it from the bottom up. Bingo! Right. So let's start where we mean to go forwards. Let's shorten the bottom. Make it a short. do. So I just need soldering. There we go. Right. And the next thing we need to do now is measure up and then snip the outside. So now we need to cut our little spaces or gaps out. And the first one of a quarter of an inch is 17 and a half inches up or 40, uh, 44.3. Let's just drag this down. So 44.3 just so happens to be in that window there then it's a quarter of an inch space or a seven millimeter gap There's our first cut and incision. And now our next one, which just so happens to be here. Quarter of an inch. It just so happens it has to be on both of them. Now the next cut is four and a half inches or 110 millimeters, which was at that joint. Cut this one out here.
perfect, four and a half. And then the last bit's 18 inches long or, um, or, or, or 457 millimeters. Now I'm using this, um, I forgot what it is, is it 316 or something like that? It's um, It's got uh, PTFE core, which means, um, ever so basically, that it, uh, it won't melt. Okay, so we have centre core tinned, shield folded back, and on the other end, we have the centre core tinned and the shield folded over it and then soldered together. So this is a short, and that obviously isn't. We have the, uh, the four and a half inch, uh, which is uh, 10 centimetres or just over of space. Um, cut out of the, uh, the ladder line, as you can see, and I'm just tinning the ends now. So between there and there, it's about 10.5 uh, centimetres, four and a half inches. And the idea is that you connect four and a half inches, which is that bit there, of coax between the two. I'm just going to check the length of that because that looks, it was a slightly long, um, bear with me. I have to, uh, to cut it and redo the end. Just make sure of that again. It's better this time. Now, I've just put a simple cable tie uh, through the top, as you can see, okay? So that's our that's our hang. It is suggested that you make um, an incision in the ladder line about one and a quarter inches, three centimeters from the base, uh, which is where you connect the coax. So uh, here we are. Okay, where it's hanging up. It's just going to focus on the back instead of on the uh, on the antenna. So here we are. Oh well, it's hanging up on a light, as you can see, using a wooden spoon or two, just to give it a bit of support. 
There you go. Boom, 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 boom. Round and round and round. Bit of coax, Ikea bag, up into the SWR meter. Let's see where we're at. I don't know, because I haven't looked yet. So, oh, looking high. Okay, that's 134. So 134, 135, 136, 138, 139, 40, 41. Here we go, right, 144, 1.6, 1.3, 1.2, 1.4, okay. Okay, so we got a little Kenwood handheld. Got a sure com. SWR meter for both frequencies and uh, let's start at um, at one four five six hundred which is a local repeater not that local actually 600 it's um 40 miles away 45 miles away 1.14 1.15 or three watts, I wouldn't gonna open it at that distance on this. And uh, we'll try uh, 70 centimeters. It's nice. That's very good. I just managed to open the stride repeater on uh, on three watts. That's very good from inside my house. I can't even do that on the hand on the um, internal. Okay, may have been a fluke. And let's do CG. That's um. <laughs> opened. Okay. M0 MSN testing access. 